just finished having brunch at Georgia Brown. So I tell them, how did you enjoy your brunch? Well, first of all, how have you enjoyed, which birthday are you celebrating? First of all? I am celebrating my birthday 8-1. Your 81st birthday. Yay. Yes. Now, um, so did you enjoy Georgia Brown? What did you have and how was the experience? Oh, I had a salad bar and then uh, they have what they call a phase one or a phase two. And phase two would be salmon, mashed potatoes, and collard greens. Yay! Your favorite, one of your favorite greens. Yes. So we had a great time. They had jazz, jazz brunch. It was a jazz brunch, and it was just fantastic. The ambiance was great. The music was great. The food was fantastic. Um, and then, so you pay one price, very nominal price and you get a phase one, which is the brunch bar, and you get, like she said, the salad bar, you get spiced shrimp, you get grits, you get waffles, bacon, sausage, um, all the desserts you can imagine from uh, chocolate-covered strawberries to brownies. I mean, it was just fantastic. Um, and then, tell them about the second phase two, which is the salmon that you mentioned. Yeah, the salmon. The salmon, the uh, collard greens, and mashed potatoes. We take get an opportunity to take them home where we can eat them whenever we want to. That's exactly right. And I think that's just fantastic. So, and it's not a doggy bag. It is actually where they prepare the meal, and you order it at the same time, and you can just take it out. So, we have enjoyed it. She got all kinds. What other kind of birthday gifts did you get? I mean, she, I got her something that she, some things that she really wanted. The shrugs, she wanted some different color shrugs. So I got her some of those, several of those. But she didn't need my little gifts because she got so many other gifts. Tell me some of the other things you got. Oh, I got two pair of bedroom slippers. I got some nightgowns. I got uh, a beautiful scarf and a bracelet that one of my daughters at the church and her husband gave me. And I got money. I got a lot of gifts. Another lady there, her mother went home to be with the Lord a few years ago, and I didn't adopt her. She adopted me as her mother. She doesn't forget Mother's Day, my birthday, and Christmas. And any other time, she, and she just buy me beautiful cards and those booklets. And I have just really, really, really enjoyed this birthday. And I don't take it lightly. I thank God, because when I go to the dentist and to the foot doctor, I see people there in wheelchairs with canes, crutches, and I still drive, and I thank the Lord for that. I do not take my age for granted. And your health. And my health. That is, that is blessed. And some of the things that she does to keep herself healthy is she drinks lots of water. She eats prunes. I know prunes are not hot, and, you know, they're not cute, they're not sexy. But she's prunes, and she's regular, and I mean, she drives day and night, and goes up and down stairs anytime she wants to. She will leave me home, and she will just catch the bus and go anywhere. She'll drive anywhere. She'll walk anywhere. And I just thank God that she, God has promised to renew our youth like the eagle, and she definitely, God is definitely being faithful to his word, and he is truly renewing her youth and my youth um, as eagles. Eagles, And so, um, she, yesterday was actually her birthday, which was June the 8th. Yesterday was actually her birthday, but she didn't want to do anything. She just wanted, you know, she just wanted me to acknowledge it, but she didn't really want to go out or anything. But she said, today I want to celebrate my birthday on Sunday. And that's what we did, had a wonderful I mean, just amazing time at the 8 o'clock service at Spirit of Faith Christian Center and uh, with my pastor, Dr. Mike D.D. Freeman. And I mean, that was just a, an, an anointed move of God where he prayed for uh, couples, that God would strengthen their marriages, and that they would just not quit. No matter how difficult things are right now, better days are ahead. And so you got to stay together so you can see your better days. And um, so, you know, I want to shout out to them and also encourage you all who are watching to join the campaign of Dr. Mike and Dee Freeman as he 
and his wife, Dr. Um, Dr. Dolores Freeman, as they declare war on divorce. So he's got, he's got this one million marriage campaign where it doesn't matter if you're married or you're single, go to uh, SOFCC.org and become a part of the campaign to declare war or divorce. Satan is after our families, he's after our men, he's after our children, and so we've got to declare war or divorce and let the world see the strength of the Christian family. So just wanted to bring you all and let you all share in uh, my mom's celebration of her birthday. Um, as we enjoy just uh, leaving Georgia Browns on K Street in Northwest D.C. So, Mons, is there anything you want to say to them? Hello, everybody, and continue to hold me up in prayer. I'm a tither and a giver, and Pastor Mike, who's my favorite pastor, said those are two things. As long as you are a tither, according to the Bible, and a giver, God promised us, and he will not say it. Whatever he says, he will do it. Well, I have nothing else to say other than amen. <laughs> God bless. Bye-bye.